The English FA wants to ban Lucas Paqueta for life after details of his alleged betting scam have surfaced. The Copa America tournament is also coming up. And can Lucas Paqueta be able to play in this tournament for Brazil? Stay tuned and we all dive in the details of the story and please subscribe to my channel. The FA launches an investigation into allegations of yellow card betting against West Ham midfielder Lucas Paqueta. The FA is seeking a lifetime ban for Paqueta, following suspicious betting patterns and allegations that he intentionally sought to receive yellow cards in multiple matches. The investigation began after Paqueta's booking in the closing minutes of a match against Bournemouth, with about 60 people betting on him to be carded in one or all of the matches. And the bet in question have been traced to Paqueta Island, close to where the West Ham and Brasilia midfielder grew up. Analyzing the bet, Betway followed the trail to Paqueta Island, a section of Rio de Janeiro, where the midfielder was born and where many of his friends and family still reside. Officials suspect that Paqueta tipped off his friends that he would deliberately try to get booked with a yellow card in certain matches, and recommended they place bet on it. The midfielder has been charged in relation to his conduct in his club Premier League matches against Leicester City in November 2022. Aston Villa in March 2023, Leeds in May 2023, and Bournemouth in August 2023. The FA has charged Paqueta with misconduct, alleging that he breached Rule 5 and F3 by seeking to influence the progress of matches for improper purposes. Paqueta has denied the charges, stating that he is extremely surprised and upset by the decision. A similar case occurred in November 2021 during an FA Cup match. Stratford Town's left-back Kynan Isaac intentionally received a yellow card in a game against Shrewsbury Town. Bookmaker Skybet handed over data to the FA indicating that 14 bet had been placed on Isaac receiving a yellow card in that game which in fact happened. Isaac was found guilty of manipulating a betting scheme with friends and received a 10-year ban from the sport. If he found guilty, Paqueta could face anywhere from a six-month to a lifetime ban from soccer. If convicted, the Brazilian will have the chance to appeal all the way up to the Court of Arbitration for sport in Switzerland. West Ham United has also released a statement acknowledging the charges and supporting their player throughout the process. The club says Paqueta categorically denies the breach and will continue to robustly defend his position. Despite the serious charges and advanced stage of the investigation, which began in August 2023, Paqueta continued to play for West Ham until the end of the English Premier League season. The scandal was the main reason why Manchester City abandoned their plans to sign the 26-year-old Brazilian, who was a target at the request of coach Pep Guardiola. Can Lucas Paquet to play in the Copa America? Well, for now. The formal charge from the FA was not enough for the Brazilian Football Confederation to suspend Piqueta's call-up to play in the Copa America. The CBF said it contacted the FA, which confirmed there was no provisional suspension order against the player. Based on information provided by the FA, it is concluded categorically that Lucas Paqueta, despite the conduct he is accused of, has not been subject to any provisional suspension by the prosecuting and sanctioning entity. Therefore, the player is currently cleared to practice his profession. Paqueta addressed the matter at a press conference where the Brazilian team is completing its final preparations for the tournament. I have been advised by my lawyers not to comment on the case. What I can say is that I am doing everything possible, cooperating. My lawyers are preparing my defense to ensure everything is clarified in the end. I want to make it clear that I remain prepared for this moment, said Paqueta. This is a developing story, and we will continue to bring you updates as more information becomes available. The FAS decision to seek a lifetime ban highlights the seriousness of these allegations and the need for transparency and integrity in the beautiful game. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe for more football news like this.